Hi guys, it's Christy951. Today I'm doing a video on some products I've recently purchased within about the last month. These products I have used and I have an opinion on. I'm going to start with a primer. An Avon Magix Face Perfector. This is actually an awesome product. I've used it before and I've tried other primers and I love wearing this underneath my makeup. It goes on, it's like this soft silicone feel to it. I let that set and then put my foundation over it and my makeup looks so much more flawless than with any other primer I've found yet so far. And this is only about $10 from Avon. Really like it. Now they actually make them in different colors and I'm excited to give that a try. Next, I have tried recently Dream Liquid Mousse Foundation. It's airbrush finish by Maybelline. And my color is Nude Beige 3.5. This actually has a great texture to it. I have combination skin, so, and I'm 39. So when picking out a foundation, I look at other tutorials and what works for everybody else. But really, it boils down to your skin type and your age. You have to put that all into a factor when picking a foundation for yourself. <clears throat> Excuse me. So this one seems to really work for me. I uh, have used lots of Avon foundations and many different other types. And right now I'm really liking this one. Next, I'm going to talk a little bit about eye makeup remover. This is Sonia, I don't know how to pronounce it, Kashuk. You purchased it at Target. It's an eye makeup remover. I believe this was about $10.00 really like it. It removes my eye makeup wonderfully. I'm moving on to a product I purchased that I don't necessarily care for. I heard this was a great product. It is the Sonia Keshuk Primer Vitamin Serum. This has an excellent texture. It, it feels like a serum. It's really light, but because I have more combination to oilier skin, uh, I really had a lot of oil penetration through my makeup throughout the day and I had to pat it and I never have to do that so this would work really really good on someone that has normal to dry skin so and that's definitely not on the label I wish they would label great for dry skin great for aging skin oily but nobody does that yet moving right along um, I know I'm kind of jumping around a little bit but also I've tried a new um, skincare line recently and it's Dr. Schwab. This is an intensive eye moisturizer. I have been using Avon products, your anti-aging products, and I wanted to try something a little more advanced. And so far I really, I like this to moisturize my underneath my eyes. I'm always looking for something for dark circles. I naturally have those and um, Nothing seems to get rid of it, just a little bit of concealer. So Dr. Schwab, I'm liking so far. When I first started using it, my skin started to react a little bit. It got a little, not pimply at all, but the texture changed. It got a little bumpy. And then I kept going a few days later. It was nice and smooth, and I'm definitely noticing a difference. I've also um, asked the company, I had them send me some samples, and this one's your cell renewal day cream. This is just a little sample size. I also have the night and they have a bamboo scrub and a ginkgo mask. And I've heard great things about their pumpkin mask. Um, so I'm still reviewing and giving this a great try but so far I really like it. The company has been around for about 30 years and um, it's not real expensive but definitely more pricey than something you'd buy at the drugstore. Alrighty, next I'm going to move on to my favorite blush right now, and it's by Physicians Formula, the one with the little hearts. This one is your more neutral colors. Then a few days ago, I purchased the rose colored. This one by far, I love, 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 love. This one's just a little more rosy. Really like that as well, but I really like this one. I'm wanting my cheeks to look more natural, which I'm wearing now. So you can't really tell. They're just highlighted just a bit. And so 
definitely my favorite. And it's uh, supposed to be mood boosting, and I always feel happy when I put it on. So must be doing something, right? All right. Um, you might be asking what I'm wearing on my lips. This is a product I've had for quite some time. The liner is actually MAC Deep Soul. It's like a bronzy color. It's really nice. So there's the liner, the bronze, just a little bit. I actually put the lipstick on first, then the liner on afterwards. That way the liner is not so dark because I didn't want dark lips. And this is a um, Avon Smooth Minerals. It is apricot. And I believe I saw when I first purchased this, it was because it looked great on Reese Witherspoon. So I'm like, ooh, I'm going to have to try that. I've never had that color before. So there's the color. And it actually looks really good on my skin tone. And that is what I'm wearing. I tried to coordinate everything. But moving on, my next re recent purchase favorite is Revlon. It looks like this. It's a lipstick. And this color is Candy Pink. This is such a fun color great for the spring and the summer. Just turned spring, so I'm very excited about that. Such a pretty color. You can brown it out if you use a, uh, or more neutralize the pink if you don't like it that bright. I, I love it. I think it's beautiful. So I'll wear like a pink liner with it to make it definitely pink. Or you can use a more neutral liner to kind of neutralize it just a tad if you do choose so. Next, I'm going to talk about an eyeliner I've recently purchased. I'm always looking for a liner that glides on my eye smoothly. Now, those of you that are younger have probably not experienced this yet, or, or maybe if you have drier eyelids, you might experience this, but no matter what you do, you're putting your liner on, and it skips. It skips because it just is not going on real smooth. So then you have to kind of hold it so that it doesn't do that. As I've gotten older, I've noticed I definitely have to hold it because I can't find anything that just glides on so smooth, like that perfect smooth line. So I, this I bought at Walmart for like $2 and some odd change. It's a Bonnie Bell. Never bought this product before and it says it glides on smoothly. smoothly. It's called Basic Black. And it you know, I always find that the ones that are retractable tend to glide on smoother anyways. And they often make the ones like this waterproof. I do not believe this one is. But as you can see, it does glide on nicely with some color. I don't like to have to like really push hard on my eye in order to get the color out of it. So for $2.50, uh, we'll say, this was an excellent buy. It's one of my mini black colors that I own. Recently, I also purchased a blue eyeliner by Rimmel London. It is waterproof. And it says it's number 230 Deep Ocean. And it has the little smudger on the end. This is a really pretty blue. I have many, many blue colors. And they're all different. So this one glides on nicely. And then you can use the end of it to, if you want to do like a smudgy, smudgy look like that. So I've used it a couple times and I really do like it. So um, I give it an A. <laughs> Alrighty, I'm going to move on to a product line that I really do like, but I'm finding that with their metallic eyeline pencil, pencils, this is Milani's Liquify Eye Metallic Eyeliner Pencil, and this is in brown. It has a great color, a great texture. It glides on nicely. Look at that wonderful color. That is awesome. The only downfall that I'm finding is when I have to sharpen it. When I go to sharpen it, it the pencil part falls off, and it just doesn't sharpen the best. And I have different sharpeners because every sharpener is made a little different. So I'm really trying 
Um, I love the color, so I'm going to keep trying, but I have a black one in this one, and it, I haven't, I've only been able to use it a few times because as soon as I started sharpening it, um, it went all wacky with the shape, and then the, the actual pencil part would just fall off, kind of melt off. It's almost too soft, although I do, it's such a beautiful, like, dark espresso color, perfect for browns. I mean, that's a beautiful, beautiful color. Little disappointed in when I'm resharpening it. So, if anyone has any suggestions on sharpening this type of eyeliner, please do comment and let me know. Okay, next I'm moving on to another eyeliner. This I, it's a Glamour Stick by Avon. Your black, it's black. Really like it. It is retractable, which I happen to really like because then I don't, don't have to worry about any type of um, sharpening it. This goes on. Really nice as well. It's a nice straight line. The only thing is it's not blackest black by far. It's definitely black, but it's not your true black. So I would definitely use this um, when I'm wearing, you know what, I want something kind of black. But when you want true black, I have yet to find a, well, no, I'd have to say the Milani one in black is pretty black, but I'm having issues with that, like I said. But I do love it. So moving on. Another eyeliner, waterproof eyeliner. This is called Sky High by NYC. It's a beautiful light blue color. You see that? There you go. Can you see that? Okay. All right. There. Um, waterproof. So I've worn this on my waterline, and um, it's really just a pretty nice baby blue color. So if you ever need something in this tone, this uh, NYC is a nice, nice pick there. I had to mention this. I bought this a really long time ago, and it's Wet and Wild. It's Deep Blue number 657, an eyeliner. This is my go-to eyeliner. It is a perfect shade of blue um, if I really want that deep colored blue. You see that? Um, which is, of course, different than the Remmel one. That looked dark, but when I, once I put it on, it wasn't as dark. So this is like a really pretty, nice, deep blue. And these are cheap, dollar or so. So I just had to mention that. And last, I've recently purchased this Elf Smoky Eye Edition. And I'm actually wearing these colors now. I'm wearing... Wearing the blues, wearing all of these colors. The highlighter, which is here, and then on my lid I have here, oh, yes, that one. And then in my crease, I have that one, and I've used that as a liner. So I don't have regular liner on. I have that color as a liner. Can you see? Actually very pretty, very little fallout. So I really like that. Um, I hate it, especially when I'm using blue. When you're using blue or purples and you get it to drop down, it makes your dark circles look even darker. So that really sucks when that happens. But these are only $5. I got this um, at Target. They're making many different palettes now, and every time I see one, I have to get it because there's at least one or two colors or all of them that I really like and I want to try. And it's no cute packaging. So there is what I have for today. Um, I will put all that information in the notes there. And please do comment if you've had experience with any of these um, or want me to try something I haven't tried. And um, I look forward to my next video. Take care, guys, and have a great day. Bye.